Coming up with delicious yet easy dinner ideas during the week can be a struggle. You want something tasty, but don't necessarily want to spend hours in the kitchen every night. For this reason, it's good to have a few recipes under your belt that don't take too long to make, and create enough portions to feed a big family or freeze for later. Jamie Oliver's best ever macaroni cheese is a great example of this, and with one surprising ingredient, it really puts an interesting spin on the classic recipe. Plus it's so simple, you'll laugh when you see how easy it is to make, according to the chef. The dish has everything you'd expect from a classic mac and cheese, gooey mozzarella, delicious breadcrumbs and a creamy sauce, but by adding in anchovies, you can create an even deeper and tastier flavor. Jamie said, I think this is the best macaroni cheese recipe ever, even though it's a bit naughty. I've used sweet tomatoes in my recipe as they really complement the cheese, and instead of bechamel sauce I've used single cream as it's a lot lighter. I've also topped the dish off with cheesy breadcrumbs, which give it a wonderful crunch. This recipe serves 6, and can be on the table in 45 minutes. Here's everything you need to make it. Jamie Oliver's best ever macaroni cheese ingredients 340 grams macaroni 200 grams bread, preferably stale, for making breadcrumbs 800 grams super ripe tomatoes 1 clove garlic, peeled 2 large handfuls fresh basil 55 grams sun-dried tomatoes, chopped 2 anchovies sea salt freshly ground black pepper 3 handfuls parmesan cheese, Freshly grated 565 milliliters single cream 1 tablespoon red wine vinegar half nutmeg, grated 400 grams cow's milk mozzarella, broken up 1 handful fresh thyme, leaves picked extra virgin olive oil method preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius slash 400 degrees Fahrenheit slash gas 6. Boil a pan of salted water and cook the macaroni according to the packet instructions. Break up the bread, place it in the food processor and whiz it up to form breadcrumbs, then set aside. Wash your tomatoes and place them in the food processor with the garlic, basil, sun-dried tomatoes, anchovies and a good pinch of salt and pepper. Whiz up for 30 seconds. Then add two handfuls of the parmesan, the cream, vinegar and grated nutmeg, whizzing until smooth. Drain the macaroni when it's cooked, saving some of the pasta water. Place the pasta back into the pan and pour over the cheesy sauce. You want it to be quite loose, so add a few spoonfuls of the pasta water. Take a baking dish about 8 to 10 centimeters deep and pour the pasta in, adding the mozzarella on top. Mix the last handful of parmesan with the thyme leaves and breadcrumbs and sprinkle over the top of the dish then drizzle generously with good extra virgin olive oil. Place in the preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until piping hot and golden on top. Serve straight away, sprinkled with a little extra parmesan. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.